Hi guys, it's Susie with Adaptive Mobility Services coming to you today live from the Tesla. This is blue. We call her blue because of her beautiful blue color. One of the things I really am impressed with the most about the Tesla is the versatility of the seat itself and how much it can move forward and back. So I wanted to give you guys a little bit of that um, preview today. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is the car is in park. So I'm going to take off my seatbelt. It's not moving. All right, over here, one of the things I can do very, very easily is adjust the steering wheel. Okay, so I just actually hit it on my display and then I can use my knobs in and out to raise the steering wheel up. Okay, so there it is at the highest position. And from the floor, if we go from like, we'll go from uh, the turn signal, let's do that. It's 25 inches up or underneath would be about 21 inches up which is nice if we have to deal with um, any kind of prosthetics, hand controls, that kind of thing. If we bring her all the way down, it's kind of cool. You just roll this button and it comes down. Um, at the turn signal, then we're at 24 inches and lowest 20. So it, the steering wheel itself goes up and down about an inch. Nice, nice for, for having options, right? Sometimes that inch is everything when you have a prosthetic. Okay, so the other thing I like about the steering wheel is its ability to come in and out. So here it's going all the way in, okay? And then it also comes all the way out. Look at that. Look how much that moves, okay? Um, which is really, really awesome. So one of the things I wanted to kind of explore was, okay, what is the kind of shortest person setup we can have in the car. So let's try pushing this all the way in. There she goes. Wow. That really, I mean, gosh, that moved a whole bunch of space. Let's see. I'm just so curious. Let's bring her all the way out again. I don't have a good way to measure this, but you guys will get the idea. Okay. So here's where she starts. Holy cannoli. So if I'm at eight inches now, 10 and a half inches. So it goes in and out about two and a half inches. That's kind of huge. Okay. The pedals do not telescope in and out, but the steering wheel does go in and out. So let's take a look at, I'm going to come out for this guys, just because I got long legs. You all know I do. I'm a tall gal. Let's take a look at how far up the seat will come. she's really moving holy cow wow okay that's quite a bit of real estate there so I don't know if you would have enough clearance if we pretended somebody was sitting here we would not get our 10 inches of clearance on the steering wheel that we would need or really would be ideal for the airbag scenario um, so the airbag may have to be turned off, but if we look at the distance between the seat and the pedals, so if I put this guy underneath the pedals and pretty much underneath the seat, we're able to get the seat easily. I don't know if you're able to see that easily. That's 12 inches from the end of the seat to the pedals. I'm going to have to try my daughter in here. At one point I had her come in and she was able, so she's uh, 50 inches, 52 inches. So four foot four. And she was able to sit in here and reach the pedals um, with the seat, but did not have again, enough space for um, airbag. Now let's take it all the way back and take a look at that piece as well. Boop, 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 a doop, boop, a doop, boop, 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 boop. Gosh, it just goes and goes and goes. Okay. I love this about this car. It's just got so many cool features. So now if we bring it all the way back, holy cow, we've gone from 12, you can't see any of that. We've gone from 12 inches now to 22 inches. So it went back almost a full foot. That is huge. Think about the versatility of that. Awesome. The other piece I'm really excited about is the seat itself also goes up and down. So I'll take this little measuring guy and let's just start in the down position. Down. 
down, 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 down. You can tell I like to ride high. I like to sit high, and that's one of the reasons why I think I love the Subaru so much. But it's actually one of the things I love about the Tesla too is when it's positioned, you know, this is a high seat. So if I have difficulty with transfers, this is gonna be no problem at all. Let me try and get this angle from the side. So in the lowest setting, let's do this first. In the lowest setting, it's about 27 inches off the ground. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. So if I'm, or 28, 27, 28 inches off the ground. And let me show you from the side. Okay, so here I'm gonna transfer in. You can see, I don't even get anywhere close to a 90 degree angle with my knees. Awesome, love this, right? So fantastic. Then of course, if we need it, we can add our handy bar here and up we go and out we go. I love this. My mom was so impressed with the seat height in this car, just as a car versus like an SUV. She really, really loved it. It was fantastic for her. She's got a little bit of arthritis and knee pain. Okay, let's see how high this seat can go because honestly, that is one of my favorite things. Again, I told you I like to ride high in a vehicle. I like to be able to sit up. I feel like it helps me really see. And so in this lowest position, I feel way too low. I'm, I'm not happy here. I'm not. Um, there is quite a bit of space between me and the ceiling. Let's do that. So how about this? Let's say this is the top of my head. So there's, gosh, okay, seven inches between the top of my head and the ceiling. Fantastic, right? So if we have somebody who's tall, um, but let's, I'm gonna raise it up. Bup, 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 up we go. Again, my favorite, I like to be up. Um, the one thing is it does go forward a bit as it raises. That's pretty typical in most vehicles that I've noticed as well. Definitely still have enough clearance here at the top, right? It's shorter. It's about the length of this guy. So not bad, that's five inches. I'd say this is five and a half. I'd say it was about five inches still between me and the top. So the car, the seat raised up two inches. That's pretty fantastic. And then my line of sight out the front is amazing. My transfers, super duper easy. And let's just do a quick measurement over here from the side to see how high the seat went. Okay, my very scientific arm. Yes, so 30, so we went from about 28 to 30. So the seat goes up and down two inches, fantastic. And then of course you can see here, it also articulates and tilts, which is always fantastic. My favorite, it's got a lumbar support that comes in and out. Can't really see it, but you can totally feel it. Okay, my neighbor has decided it is time to uh, mow the grass. No problem. So I'm gonna wrap this guy up, but I'll tell you my last favorite thing about the Tesla, and this, is, this has been a feature that's available in cars, but I've never had this in one of my cars. So I really, really love it. Um, when I get in the car, I just have to hit a button over here that says Susie is the driver. It's going to restore the seat. I don't know if you can see it moving. It's moving down and forward and it restores the steering wheel exactly where I like it as well. So it's just my favorite thing. I love it. Super cool, lots of cool, fun features. And then when my husband gets in the car, it actually restores to him. And what's really cool, the car is smart enough to know which one of us is driving. So when we unlock the vehicle itself, it automatically moves the chair where it needs to go. Fabulous, love it. So many things I love about this car. I'll keep the information flowing. But in the meantime, I wanted to share those uh, seat adjustments with you. Gosh, the seat alone is just awesome. And I'll tell you the passenger seat is also really nice, nice height. So are the back seats. And another bonus, all the seats are heated, including the back seats, which my daughter is super excited about. We've been talking about heated seats for years. It was one of my favorite features and additions in the Subaru. Um, and she's been really looking forward to that. And so she's excited that she can join us with the heated seats. 
<laughs> All right, guys, keep your questions coming. Let me know what you're interested in, what you want to learn more about with the Tesla. I'll keep sharing um, the little things I'm finding here and there along the way. And, you know, like this, subscribe to Adaptive Mobility on YouTube. Um, come visit us. If you're an OT, come check out all our free resources and education and let me know how I can help. All right, have an awesome day. Take care. Bye-bye.